besides the the film you just mentioned, is there anything else that you're working on in the future um, after Aportero? So the I mean the the main thing that I'm I'm trying to get off the ground now is this um, it, is this project called The Gatherers, which is a um, a look at the Argentine forensic anthropology team, um, and uh, the film was really a look at how they this basically was a group of medical and anthropology students in Argentina um, who right after the dictatorship um, partnered with an American anthropologist named Clyde Snow who um, had helped identify um, Joseph Mengele's skull and um, had done uh, big crime cases in, in, in uh, Chicago. He famously, uh, he helped um, identify the victims of John Wayne Gacy and was involved, he actually testified against Saddam Hussein as kind of this fascinating character. But he helped create this team of anthropologists in Argentina and they um, ended up becoming one of the world's um, most respected forensic teams. And today they work in 30 countries across the globe in sites of former conflict, helping to identify the remains of uh, massacre victims, people who have been uh, murdered, um, and collecting evidence for human rights trials. And so the film would be a look at the group's history, but also a look at the, uh, at the science of what they're doing. And kind of the film could also be a counter to the kind of CSI effect, you know, because of the popularity of the CSI franchise, people often think of forensic work as something that's immediate. Um, you know, uh, in these kind of hyper stylized shows, they neglect the real science and um, something that that you know the a film like The Gatherers could do is just show how you know the science is actually really amazing. It is really fascinating, but so much of the work is just it's just hard work. And so uh, the film would be also look at you know this this group of people that the team of people who have who've made this possible. So in some ways similar to Reportero and that you know it's it's. Um, both about a reporter, but it's also about a newspaper. Similarly, I think we'd have one or two forensic anthropologists who are main characters, but then it's also about this kind of uh, group effort. Is there anything else about either Reportero or social documentaries in general that you want people to know? Uh, that it's a crazy, uh, crazy way to make a living. That's uh, be one thing. Oh, I mean, I think um, I think one thing that's really useful uh, is that. Um, you know, with long form documentary, we get to spend time with an issue. I mean, I spent two and a half years working on Reportero. I mean, I was actually fundraising before that, but you know, the actual production is about two and a half years. And that there is uh, something really important about spending that much time um, on a particular subject matter because there are many fa excellent reporters who I respect very much but who work in very short periods of time. So they'll parachute in to a city for two weeks, do you know, responsible reporting, and then hop out. Um, and you know, that's a certain type of reporting, and that's valid, but that what we are able to do as documentarians is we're able to spend a much longer period of time, and we're able to get at nuance and make different decisions. You know, you're, when you're working over a long period like that, you, you know, your ideas and your opinions change. Um, you, know, you have to check yourself and you have to vet yourself and you have to do all kinds of things to, to make sure that you know, uh, you're, 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 you're being fair. Uh, but there's an ability to get at nuance and texture and to kind of get at a deeper story uh, that I don't think is possible with like super short form journalism. And certainly not with like cable news, you know, where you're doing a stand up at a place that you know, somebody was murdered and then you're out like the next day. That's not, you know, that's not um, telling anybody anything. Uh, so I feel like that there is a real advantage to making films where um, you get to spend a long time on a subject matter. I think that's a really valuable process.